Can you make 50 YouTube shorts in 24 hours using AI? In this video, I'm gonna make five different styles of vertical video only using AI tools, starting by generating an animated avatar to present the videos for me. To get things started, I've already used ChatGPT to write me a video script. So all I need to do now is copy that text and head over to vid.io to actually make the video. Once you're logged into the dashboard, head over to new video on the left-hand side, select create project and start with a blank canvas and as you can see this video is currently in the wrong shape so all I'm going to do is head over to the settings menu and change the size of the canvas to a YouTube short by choosing that option and now we can add a realistic video host. Head over to the elements tab over on the left hand side and open up the menu of AI avatars. So all you need to do is scroll through the options and pick a character that you want to use then on the next page, pick your language from the drop down menu. And it's worth mentioning that all of the avatars are multilingual. Then just paste your AI script into the box and hit add to project. Now, depending on the length of your script, this process can take a few minutes, but once it's done, your AI host will be added to the timeline. So let's take a look at him now. Did you know that during the Trinity nuclear test in 1945, the explosion transformed sand? That looks pretty good. What I normally do next is move the avatar to the center of the frame like so. And you might have noticed that the avatar actually talks quite slowly and he pauses a lot as he speaks. So to keep a fast pace for the video, I'm gonna automatically remove the silences. To do that, I'll just select my avatar down in the timeline. And on the left-hand side, I'll just select remove silences. And with one click, they're gone. So now in the media and audio tabs, I can use the Veed stock libraries to add stock video and stock audio clips throughout my video. These are all royalty free and they can help to add more context to your narration as well as just making them more visually engaging. I can even use stock video as a background for my avatar and I can do that just by dragging any clip underneath my avatar in the timeline. So I can now use this video as a template to make nine more in the exact same style. You can also make very similar videos by using an AI voiceover. I've just generated another script in ChatGPT and now in a new blank canvas in Veed, I can just head over to the audio tab over on the left hand side and select text to speech. And just like the AI avatar menu, I can just paste my script into the box. Next, I can choose a language from the drop down menu. I can choose a voice style from the different options and you can even choose a tone of speaking. After that, I'll just hit generate and the AI voiceover will be added to my timeline. So let's take a listen. Did you know that when the Trinity nuclear test detonated in 1945, it unleashed energy equivalent to 20 kilotons of TNT? So again, I can now add stock footage on top of my AI voiceover to help tell the story. And something you should always add to your YouTube shorts, no matter what genre or style, is subtitles. Just go to subtitles on the left hand side, select auto subtitle, choose the file from the list that you want to transcribe, make sure the correct language is selected, and then hit create subtitles. And in just a few seconds, my text has been added. So all I need to do now is choose an animated preset that I like. I can choose a font, I can choose a color, I can choose the size and I'm good to go. So again, I can make nine more videos in this style just by generating new scripts with AI, or I could write some scripts myself. Another very popular style of batch making YouTube shorts is by using videos that already exist. You've probably seen a lot of clips from video podcasts as you swipe through your feed. So I'm gonna use this Kevin Hart interview to create 10 new YouTube shorts. And instead of listening to the whole two hour interview to find some interesting sections, I just asked ChatGPT to give me some highlights. So now I just need to find those sections in the video. To do this, just copy the URL from the full podcast, head over to youtubetranscript.com, paste the URL into the box, hit go, and that has now transcribed the entire video into text, which I can now search through. In Chrome, just hit Command F and search for one of the keywords or topics that ChatGPT suggested. And every mention of that word has now been highlighted and I can just skip through like this and find a part that I think looks interesting. And by clicking on some text over on the right hand side, it takes me to that exact time code in the video. So now we can head back over to Veed, upload the full podcast video. And all I need to do now is find that exact point in the video with my playhead, hit split. I'll then delete the first part of the footage and move the playhead to the end of the clip that I want to use, hit split again, delete this second part, and delete the space in front of the clip to take it to the beginning of the timeline. 
I can now change it to a YouTube short size and make the video more engaging by adding some subtitles. This edit template is really simple, but it's super effective. And I can make nine more shorts by using different parts of the same interview. But now let's take podcast clips to the next level. You might have seen some clips starring people like David Goggins, where sections of his interviews are turned into short form inspirational content by adding the perfect music and stock footage. So let's make 10 motivational YouTube shorts in this exact same style. Just like the last style of podcast clip, I can use ChatGPT to give me ideas of where to find his best quotes and in interviews. I can then use the transcript tool to find those good moments within the podcasts and cut those clips down in my timeline. And the key to making really good videos in this style is finding the best stock footage. So I'm just gonna search for videos of people working out, people running, there's lots of other gym focused content in the library. I'm also gonna find some inspirational stock music to play in the background. So the final product looks exactly like the other videos in this trend and it didn't even take me that long. So I can just make nine more from the same interview. Another way to generate really quick YouTube shorts is by repurposing other social media posts using Veed's templates. In the Veed dashboard, I can open up the templates library over on the left hand side and as you can see, there are literally hundreds of different templates to choose from, which can help you make really high quality animated videos without doing any editing yourself. For example, you can even make videos based on tweets. First things first, I'm gonna narrow down the templates library to only show me portrait templates. And in the search bar, I'm just gonna type in Twitter and check out this template right here that I'm going to customize. I'm gonna make an entire video based on this Ryan Reynolds tweet. So I'll just copy the text and back in the template editor, I just need to customize each layer of the animation in the timeline. So I'll replace the example text with the text of his tweet. I can add his name, I can add his username, and I'm just gonna make sure everything looks legit by moving the text boxes around slightly. I can also replace this example profile picture with Ryan Reynolds profile picture, and it now looks exactly like it does in real life. I could also add an AI voiceover again, reading out the tweet or introducing it in a funny way. And the final product looks really good and it literally took me about five minutes. So I can very easily make nine more in this exact same style just by finding more funny tweets. Now, if you want to learn how I made three YouTube shorts go viral with millions of views on each, you need to check out this video next and I'll see you guys in the next one.